And now, your Fox 24 Local Weather Authority forecast. Stormy skies slowly departing the basin, but we're still very muggy this morning. This is a live look at Odessa early on your Wednesday morning, still very cloudy. This is a live look at Odessa toward the northeastern skies. Haze, water vapor, moisture in the atmosphere, limiting visibility just a little bit. See those clouds off to the north and east? Some of these clouds still producing rain. Satellite and radar showing despite it not raining in Odessa, with only very light rain in northeastern areas of Midland, the bulk of the rain activity drifting off toward the east. To our friends closer to Del Rio, to San Angelo, Abilene, and northern Texas, these greens, yellows, oranges, and reds, with embedded lightning strikes indicate a stormy weather pattern and a lot of the rain that we did see the past 24 hours fell within the past six to seven hours officially at the airport. 0.69 inches of rain fell within the past 24 hours. Radar estimated total showing about 0.6 on average amount of rain in between Midland and Odessa. These green colors indicate radar estimated totals between one to three inches near Hobbs, Carlsbad, and down close to Fort Stockton, and especially in Terrell County and to our friends near Iron Ann, Sheffield, and toward Ozona just south of San Angelo. Quite a bit of rain activity, and rain again still hugging the far eastern areas of Midland and drifting off toward Big Spring, San Angelo, Big Lake, and if you guys are traveling along I-20 this morning, wet. Now, we do notice those brighter returns on the radar, the yellows, oranges, and reds, not as pronounced, not as many lightning strikes. So the rain field is weakening, shrinking, and not as intense. So thankfully, we'll see the drier air and the less floody roadways throughout the morning and throughout the afternoon. 61 at the airport in Midland, 100% relative humidity. Pretty good visibility officially at Midland at 10 miles, despite a little bit of the haze from time to time. Time. Cooler and drier in northwestern areas. The basin sitting in the high 40s, low 50s in the Trans Pecos, 50s and low 60s along I 20 and I 10. Warming up in the high 60s, low 70s in the mountains, upper 60s, low 70s in northeastern areas of the basin, low 80s in Pecos to Wink to down toward the Rio Grande. This model depicting 66 in the tall city, I think will be closer to what's depicted on this model at Big Spring at 72 degrees. Either way, temperatures below normal during the afternoon, average high 76. I think it reached 72. Thunderstorms in the morning starting to depart. Still pretty humid throughout the day and still pretty mild even throughout the early afternoon hours. And we're going to still be seeing chances of rain, but the atmosphere is slowly drying out. Again, that rain field hugging only eastern areas. Very sporadic rain activity south of Midland and Odessa. Maybe clipping places like southern eastern parts of Midland County, then quickly moving off to the east overnight with mostly clear skies, low temperatures in the 60s. Winds dying down from the south and west at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Southerly westerly winds allowing for sunny and warm conditions tomorrow afternoon. Warming up to 80 degrees. Your mighty wash car wash. Them day forecast showing even sunnier and warmer air on Friday. 81 still mild on Saturday. Then a strong cold front bringing in more rain. Higher humidity, stronger winds. And we'll see very chilly weather leading up to Halloween next week.